Hi, Councilwoman Seaman here, and I'm back with Chief Molina. Thank you. I am so glad that you're here because it is hot. It has been. It has been. We have, a, it have it has excessive heat warnings the last 10 days. Yeah, almost. I mean, yeah. it even got as high as like 117, yes. 118. So what do people do out there? What are some of the tips that you can give us to keep ourselves safe? Absolutely. So I think, you know, we want to be constantly drinking water. I mean, water is the biggest asset to keep ourselves hydrated and, we, and prevention. So especially if you're working outside or you happen to be working outside in your yard, you know, you exert a lot of water from your body in this heat. So every 20 minutes, you want to be hydrating. Our bodies need about a quarter of, of water in order to stay hydrated wow. every hour. That's a lot. So that's important. Yeah, prevention. Yeah. yeah. And people are biking and jogging yes. how first of all how can people be jogging yes, yeah. in this seat i can barely walk across the street i feel like i'm on fire absolutely and even if you notice even in the evening hours it's still about 90 degrees outside oh, so yeah. that heat still catches up with you it's a very dry heat as all of you know out here so you want to stay hydrated and safe we want to make sure our, our pets are safe too you know we just had the the new ordinances that were passed by the council so thank you for that so we want to let the public know that if the heat is expected to exceed or approach 105 degrees or higher, you need to provide for cooling for the animals. We're mostly talking about dogs in most cases. Yeah. So um, a pool, a swamp pool, misters, or better yet, bring the dog inside so that they can have air conditioning so that they don't go into heat, exo heat stroke as well. And Chief Molina, if there are people that see dogs in distress, where do they call? How do they get a hold of somebody so they can go out and check because we want to make sure all of our pets out there are safe. Yeah, so there's two ways, right? So if you feel uh, a, a dog is in, the, an animal is in distress, then you can call our animal dispatch, 702-229-6444, option two. If you're very, very concerned and you need immediate response, then we urge you to call 911. For example, if you feel a pet locked in a vehicle and it's very, very hot, call 911 so that police officers can respond. That could be Metro if it's in a city facility or park. It'll be on marshals, and we have the authority to break into a vehicle to help address that issue for the animal. And same with our neighbors. It's, Absolutely. it's good to check on them during this heat and also make sure that we keep an eye on people that they're, you know, sometimes with the heat and they're not hydrated, they can become delusional and, you know, just not know who to call. Sure. So we really need to make sure that we take care of people out there. Absolutely. So thank you so much for well, all you do you in our community. Me. And we'll see you next month. See Thank you. Next you. Month. Bye bye. Bye.